Hey, it's Nathan from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Packed One, a 35 litre clamshell duffel that claims to be the only travel bag you'll ever want. Here at Pack Hacker, we're a team of frequent travelers that do travel gear and bag reviews like this all the time, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. So let's jump in to this Packed One review. You can tell that a lot of thought and consideration has gone into the design of the Pact One, and the outcome, in our opinion, is a really great looking bag. The professional aesthetic and duffel style will also ensure that no one pegs you as a tourist. You won't find any branding or logos whatsoever on the exterior of the Pact One. We really respect a brand that doesn't feel the need to plaster logos everywhere, and in fact, the only branding that you'll find is a small, sweet and simple Pact logo in the middle of the pack. When it comes to color, you have three options, black, gray, and navy, all of which complement the professional looking aesthetic. Not all of the colours are made of the same materials though, and there's a few differences between them, which in our opinion is a bit of an odd decision. The black is their rugged option, made of 420D nylon dobby and features YKK RCPU water resistant zippers. Whereas the navy and the grey version that we have here features coated polyester canvas and unbranded zips that lack any water resistance. So why not make all three versions out of these same durable materials? Well, Pack do shed a little bit of light on the zipper decision anyway on a Facebook Live video that we'll link in the description down below where they state that they struggled to source YKK zips, which apparently aren't that much better anyway, but that is according to them. The only other difference between all three color options comes with the interior lining. The gray pack and the black bag have a kind of light gray nylon lining, whereas the navy pack has a golden cotton lining. Fortunately, Pact do explain this decision again in that Facebook Live video that we mentioned earlier, and the reasoning is actually quite simple. They just preferred the way that the cotton lining worked, looked, and felt within the navy pack, which is fair enough, I suppose. The Pact One has a surprising amount of nifty stuff going on the outside. There's plenty of external pockets and a really smart design going on. But let's start with what is the most crucial component of any duffel bag, the shoulder strap. The detachable shoulder strap fits right into the overall aesthetic on the Pact One and folds away relatively small when not in use. The metallic carabiner on the strap and loop attachment on the bag are both sturdy and durable components which facilitate a quick and easy attachment even if you're in a rush. But what's the shoulder strap like to wear? Well, with plenty of padding, it's surprisingly comfortable, delivering a decent overall carry. Unfortunately, if you do max this thing out weight-wise, there will eventually come a time when the strain on your shoulder will start to take its toll. Of course, regardless of what bag you're wearing, if you have a heavy load, you are going to feel it on your shoulders after a little while. The issue we have here is that that load is on one shoulder as opposed to spreading it out across both. Some people love the duffel style carry, but just be aware if you're planning on really loading this thing up and carrying it long distances. Moving on to the second way to carry the packed one, and that is, of course, by its top handles. They feel strong, are very well made, and are also molded in a way that provides you with a really tight grip. A small nitpick on our end though is the lack of any padding, meaning the carry isn't terribly comfortable after a little while. On the packed one, you will find four small accessory loops on the outside of the bag. Now, packs say these are to attach water bottles to or any other kind of travel items you have with a carabiner clip. Now, if you're into that kind of thing, then great, but personally, we've never actually used them, and that doesn't bother us too much because you can't really tell that they're there anyway. Moving on to the bottom of the packed one, and you will find four pieces of leather looking material on each corner for added durability. Now, they may look like leather and do the exact same job, but they're actually made of polyurethane, and that's great because Pact are committed to delivering animal friendly products, which gets a big thumbs up from us. On each corner, you'll also find four studs to protect your bag when it's resting on the floor. Since this is a duffel, you're likely going to be laying it down a lot. 
so these studs are an essential addition. Here at Pack Hacker, we dig an external pocket, so we were happy to find four on the outside of the packed one. On this side here, you'll find two that are sat right next to each other, square in shape, and these are by far our most used on this pack. The great thing about these pockets is that they are litre independent from the main compartment, meaning they'll always have room for you. The left hand side pocket even features a metallic key clip and some card holder sleeves. Not things we've used too often, but cool to have. On the other side of the packed one, you will find two more external pockets. The first one being a long sleeve like compartment with a magnetic closure. This sleeve is excellent for stuffing something in if you're in a rush, but it's not a pocket you want to be putting valuables in or anything that can fall out easily because the magnetic closure didn't work too well. We found it comes open more often than not. On the front of the magnetic closure pocket, you'll find a long zippered compartment here, and this houses one of PAC's party tricks, a pattern pending TSA pocket here, which they've designed for you to put your mobile phones in, wallets in, keys in as you go through security at the airport. This is a super nifty pocket, and we love the fact that Pact has thought about how people use their travel bags and what features can improve a user's experience. On the bottom of this TSA pocket here, you'll notice this red strip. Now, according to Pact, this serves as a reminder to also get anything else out of your bag that needs to go through the x-ray of the airport separately. Now, we're not sure if we're missing something here or whether a red label to you symbolizes this and notifies you of that, but if we've gone out of our way to put kind of phones and passports into this pocket anyway, surely we'd also think about everything else inside of the pack. Um, so it sounds a little bit like marketing spiel to us, but regardless, it's there um, and it's a great little pocket. On the top of the packed one, you will find three openings. The right side is going to give you access to the right hand side compartment. The left side is going to give you access to the left hand side compartment. And the middle one is going to open up all the way like a clamshell. The clamshell opening has been a common trait in a lot of travel backpacks for a while now, but this is relatively new territory for duffel bags, and we love how Pact has brought this new feature to the game. Being able to open this thing up like a suitcase is in our opinion, this bag's big selling point. And we're happy to report that it works incredibly well. The clamshell design means that organizing your pack and being able to cram in as much stuff as possible is a straightforward and stress-free process. But of course, you don't need to always open up that big clamshell zip to get inside. The great thing about the packed one is that it retains its core duffel function. Giving you the access zips here to each compartment means that you can open them up, stick your hand in, get something out quick, and we love this as well as the clamshell. Both sides of the bag are pretty much identical. They're both the same size, feature a long zippered pocket, which is ideal for smaller items that would otherwise get lost inside the bigger compartment, and have two small mesh pockets on either side. The only difference between the two is that one of them is covered by a mesh panel, whereas the other compartment is covered by a nylon fabric panel. And that's because the nylon one here is also home to the laptop compartment. This laptop compartment is conveniently located in the middle of the bag, meaning that the weight is distributed evenly. The main clamshell zip also gives you quick access to the laptop, so it's easy to whip out if you're at the airport. The compartment will fit most 15 inch laptops, but just to note, it is a bit of a squeeze. If you've got an additional sleeve or thick case on, chances are it's not going to fit. We've been testing the packed one for the last two months, and we've taken it on trips to the USA, to Spain, and around the UK. The considered design and functionality make the packed one an absolute pleasure to use. And the bottom line is, we've thoroughly enjoyed testing this pack. That being said though, we do hold some concerns over the durability and build quality of this bag. First up, the stitching is downright shoddy in areas. And for a premium product priced at the higher end of the market, this is frankly unacceptable. Not sure that we can say too much else here other than please sort this out packed. Our next two areas of concern are the materials that our gray bag is made out of 
which is the coated polyester material and also the unbranded zips used throughout the pack. In only two months of use, we're already finding abrasion marks on the coated polyester material, which is not a great sign of things to come. And moving on to the zips, they do still work perfectly fine for us, but being unbranded, we remain skeptical as to how long they will last. We're also constantly wary of being caught in any sort of downpour because these zips will have water seep through them pretty easily. It's important to note though that most of our concerns here would be solved by getting the black version of the Pact 1, which features those water resistant RCPU YKK zippers throughout and that 420D nylon dobby material. We have the grey version and that's the one we've been testing here though and also let's remember that all three versions of the bag are all priced exactly the same. Pact claim that this is the ultimate travel bag and the only travel bag that you'll ever want. So is it? No, of course it's not. And that's because the ultimate travel bag, perfect for everyone, doesn't exist and likely never will. But this doesn't mean that it's a bad bag though. The fact is, everyone has different use cases and people vary from person to person. So although this may not be the only travel bag you will ever want, the fact is that there are certain people, maybe you watching this right now, that the packed one may be perfect for. Moving on to some pros and cons, the Pact One features a unique clamshell design, there are plenty of useful external pockets, and the Pact One can work both as a day pack and a travel bag. Moving on to some of the cons, it's not made using the most durable materials. Fully loaded weight wise, it is heavy to carry on just one shoulder, and there's poor stitching within the pack, where loose threads can be found everywhere. We found the Pact One to be a great looking duffel style option for short city breaks. And unique features like the TSA pocket and handy external pockets will make your journey through any airport an absolute breeze. And surprisingly, we also found the Pact One to be a pretty good day pack too. If you're a fan of the duffel style and carry, but want the ease of a clamshell pack, then regardless of its pitfalls, the Pact One could be the bag that you've been searching for. Thanks for taking a look at our review of the Pact One. Be sure to head over to packhacker.com forward slash newsletter, sign up for our newsletter and never miss an update. Thanks for checking this one out. We'll see you in the next video. Let's put the pocket away. Hide in the TSA pocket, which is this one here. I don't know where that went, that was a bit odd.